Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Monster License Legend. And today I am reviewing a monster that the task is not yet complete. It's for the coin maze and it's for the monster Killmancer. Now, I'm really excited about this monster. Um, I like its looks. I like what it has to possibly offer. However, um, looks can be deceiving. Oh, man, I hate when the ruined slots is always taken up and you have to spend gems on it. But anyways, I like the way this monster looks, but like I was saying, looks can be deceiving. So we're going to have to test this monster out, check out what its capabilities are, and see if this is a monster that is worth getting. Um, resurrection block, um, I mean, to possession corruption, trait protection... Uh, so on and so forth. So, I wanted to do this monster ahead of time before the um, maze ended. So this way you guys kind of get a feel for this monster. And whether you guys want to do that hard push at the end to get this monster. Um, one of the things I'm looking at here is the possession. Now, if... If the monster just, if that's one of their skills, is just possession, and it's possession after possession after possession, as far as attacks go, I don't feel like it's going to be very beneficial. Because you'll be able to possess a monster once, and then after you possess the monster once, um, you can't do it back-to-back -back turns. So if all this monster has is just like possession attacks, the next time it's up, to attack, it's kind of useless. It doesn't really help, especially if the monster, their attacks aren't that strong. So that's kind of what I'm seeing with this monster right now. But, you know, time will tell, we'll see. And I'm going up against the three rounds of monsters from the blueberries or whatever those North Berry things are. Um, so let's see. So like this one, they're both immune to possession. So that literally did nothing to these monsters, really. That did, did not help whatsoever. So that was kind of a a waste. Um, but I wanted to kind of just showcase that. Like, you got to be aware of the monsters that you're attacking. Although sometimes you don't have a choice. Like, you know, if you're going player versus player with this kill master and you're planning on using possession, all of a sudden you're like, oh crud, I got randomly set up against someone who they bought possession. And, and then what do you do? So right now I'm not really too impressed with this Killmancer, other than the design of him. Um, and see, so like, he's immune to possession, and then what do you do? Um, I mean, you have one of your other attacks, and maybe I'm just not using this monster correctly. But as of right now, I just... I don't see I don't see myself using this monster that often. It was just one of those I just want to collect it type of things. Um you could do metal damage to one monster or a little bit of damage to all of them. Obviously I did a little damage to to all of them, but yeah, the way this monster is being you know, slapped around. I think this is going to be it. He's, yeah, I've never lost on these Alpine Cavern of Ascension battles before. So that should tell you how weak I think this monster is. I just, yeah, I don't like it. But anyways, um, it's under the Maze Island. You still have some time. Of, as of me recording this video, it's like a day late. So you have like one day, 19 hours left. To get this monster, if that's the monster you want. But anyways, I didn't think it was worth my time to get this monster other than to collect. But that's just my opinion. Um, don't forget to let me know what you guys think of this video, what you think of this monster. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will talk to all of my legends later. You guys have a great day.